Welcome back to Living Local. Joining us today, we have Eric Hernandez. He is the foreman here at Boone Hall Farms. Thank you so much for coming out this morning. Well, what should I should say is that you've already been out here for quite a while this morning, yes, right? Yep. <laughs> all right, so we're going to talk about all of the hard work that you do out here. But for the folks at home who are unfamiliar with what Boone Hall Farms is, tell us what it is. Well, Boone Hall, um, it's a place where um, we've been farming for, not we, but uh, <laughs> it's been farming for over 300 years. Um, we they started with cotton, indigo, rice, pecans, mm -hmm. and now, um, these days we're farming tomatoes, strawberries, um, mm -hmm. watermelons, and a whole different variety of um, vegetables. Per pretty much anything you can think of. Yeah. Right. Um. How, let's hear about you, Eric. Like, how did you get here? Uh. Well, I've been for working for Boonho for about 17 years, mm -hmm. and uh, Mr. Willie, um, I show him interested that uh, um, that I like the farm. I like yeah. what he did, and uh, he started teaching me. And uh, he started sending me to um, uh, classes, and uh, and here I am now. He's 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 my mentor now. He tells me, okay, we're gonna grow some watermelons, mm -hmm. and uh, he tells me a variety or what he likes, and I come over here and we grow it. We go from there. So do you see this being a thing that like uh, generations, like the next generation, is picking it up? Or are you concerned that they're not going to be, you know? Yes, no, but. Um, I think on our on our end now we have to the new generations. I don't know if they're showing a lot of interest in on farming, and um, it's kind of scary. Um, so that's when we, as an adults and and like me, that I'm interested in farming. I try to talk to um, if I see a little kid, I'll mention something about mm -hmm. the farm. You teach him something about the farm, and um, just let him know that their watermelon is not coming. It's not. It didn't grow in an aisle over there in Walmart or something. You know, that's yeah. important knowing their, uh, where their food is coming from. Another thing I think people need to also understand is, aside from the fact hardworking families behind all of this, is that we love this culinary scene here in Charleston. But without you, yeah. it would be nothing. Yeah. So it'd be nice to support your local farmers. I mean, the food tastes a lot better when it's local. Mm -hmm. It's growing locally. And um, I mean, we had to, like I said before, we had to keep, um, help the farmers, mm -hmm. help the new generations, encourage the new generations to farm. Because without, not just me, but without any other mm -hmm. farmer, is is the where end will we us. be? Yeah. 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 And um, I mean, you won't be able to enjoy a, a, a watermelon for Fourth of July. I know. I, I can't. Just Let me tell you, <laughs> that would devastate my dad. So, well, I want to thank you for all that you do. Yeah. Uh, you're such a humble guy. <laughs> yeah. And you can tell that, you know, everyone loves you when you're here and you bring yeah. such a passion and love for this. So we yeah. appreciate you sharing it I with us. I love being here, yep. All righty. Well, there's more Living Local. It's coming your way, so stay tuned. We're going to be right back.